everyone, I'm Nadia Malik, and today we'll be discussing UiPath's picture-in-picture -picture capability, essential for a robot for every person initiative. This feature truly enables you to work alongside the bot as it's running the process in an isolated window session. I can run my process in picture-in-picture -picture from my UiPath assistant. So here, assume I'm a recruiter in HR and I have an initial screening process. So as part of this process, I have the bot forward candidate details to appropriate hiring manager. It'll save the resumes and emails locally for record purposes. It'll prompt me to schedule an initial interview and then it'll send the interview preparation material. And so as I see that in my UiPath assistant, I have a description of my process and I can also customize that so that it runs in picture in picture every time. In our case, I have the process designed to run in picture in picture from studio, so I'll go ahead and leave it. So here I see my UiPath robot has launched my picture in picture window session, and here I can move it along my screen. I can keep it on top or have it behind. I have the option to enable take control. So in our case, I want to monitor the bot as it's running, and it's going to be downloading email attachments and the emails themselves to these folders. So I'll go ahead and leave those open so I can monitor the bot. And you notice that it actually opened up Excel. So it's reading that Excel file in the background. And let's say it's looking for human resources folder. So reading the candidate details and marking them as unread. And I see in my main session now the robot has prompted me to select a date to schedule the initial interview. So I'll go ahead and check my calendar for my availability. So with picture in picture, I've designed it so that I have parts of my process running in my main session. So here, this form is actually prompted in my main session to catch my attention. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and schedule the appointment for November 9th, as I'm pretty open that day, click Submit. And I can continue working alongside that bot. And as the bot schedules the meeting and sends the preparation details, it'll also download, as we see in the isolated window session, the resumes and the email attachments. And now it's prompting me to schedule a second interview. So again, I'll go back to my calendar and I'll pick the same day, but just later in the day. So let's pick November 9th. So the bot continues to execute and I can work alongside it. And the process is done executing. And it keeps the picture-in-picture -picture window open up by default, just so that I have visibility into where the process is as the bot has ended. And if I go and take a look, we'll see that the bot has marked all those emails as read in my HR inbox. It's moved the appropriate candidates for initial screen and it sent some draft emails for initial preparation material. So as a citizen developer, if I build my process in Studio X, in the top ribbon where I hit run, I also have the option to run in picture in picture. This way I can monitor the process as it's running in an isolated window session and still work alongside it. Also, as an RPA developer, I could use picture in picture for debugging. So in the debug tab, I'll also see the option to run in picture in picture. And so from here, I can monitor the bot as it's going through the workflow and then see where it is within Studio itself. And then you'll notice in 20.10, in the invoke workflow activity, in the properties pane, you'll see a new attribute called target session. So this allows you to design your workflow so that parts of it run in picture in picture and parts of it run in main. 
So to summarize, thanks to my UiPath Assistant and the new picture-in-picture -picture feature, I can easily have the robot working alongside me in an isolated session while I can concentrate on the more creative value-added tasks. Thanks for watching.